And here he is, folks, a fan favorite, at least in this house, Oogie Boogie. We're going to finish him off two ways this time. Uh, we're going to do one with acrylic paints, and the other one we're going to do with black walnut Danish oil and acrylic paints for the eyes and for the stitches. Now, if you haven't watched the carving video, I suggest you go to watch that first. This is the video where we finish those carvings that we've already done. So <clears throat> the acrylic ones could get dry brushing and all the fancy stuff, and the other ones can get waxed. If you just watched the carving video, it has been about two to three minutes for me because all I've done is clean off the table and get some paints out. So these are the carvings we just did. They are Oogie Boogie, right? And Oogie Boogie is a character from the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. He is a big sack full of bugs. He's the boogeyman. So we're just going to paint him up. <clears throat> now, I've got two figures here. One that I just finished carving, and he's wet still, so you can see he's, he's shaded a little bit differently, right? The one that's wet, we're going to paint him because we don't want to stain with Danish oil one that's wet. So this dry guy, the one I carved originally, he's going to be stained with Danish oil, and this guy we're going to paint. Now, we're going to paint both of them a little bit because both of them are going to get black acrylic for the eyes. So there's the black acrylic I'm going to use. And we're going to do dry brushing of black base for this guy and then we're going to dry brush with probably two colors the portobello here and the honeycomb to create that bag like that burlap sack kind of effect so that's what i'm going for and uh, that's what we're going to do now let's get some painting supplies all righty here is water paint brushes paper towels okay so i'm going to be using a couple different paint brushes here um, i've got a master's touch oval mop half inch i like using an oval mop for uh for dry brushing and this is pretty worn down so that's what we're using for that a little detail brush just a cheap set of amazon detail brushes where i got this cocoa land doesn't matter but it's a really fine tip brush for painting the eyes and the mouth and then I got this multi-use kind of brush I can use for other things as needed. So, and then an eyedropper, of course, in case I need to water anything down. But I don't normally water anything down that much. So, let's paint the eyes and mouth on him first. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Black acrylic paint for the eyes and the mouth. Probably need more, buy more black acrylic soon. When it comes to paint brands, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you can see there's three different brands here, Americana, Folk Art, and Apple Barrel. I use whatever is uh, the right price when I go to buy it at Hobby Lobby or Walmart whenever I'm purchasing this stuff. So, oh, dang it, Johnny. I'll show you how to fix that, right? We got a little black outside of the eye. It's a very easy way to fix that. You take your carving knife and you just cut it right off. <laughs> If you're like me and you're a little bit dangerous with your paintbrush sometimes, that's okay. We'll let it dry first. We don't mess anything up. All right, so that's eye. That eye is good. And this guy is going to get the Danish oil and wax. The other guy's going to get painted. And he's going to the antiquing solution. So you'll be able to see both methods of finishing and determine for yourself which method you prefer. Because some people just don't like painting. If you don't like painting, I get it. That Danish oil is fantastic. The wax is wonderful. It creates some really nice looking carvings. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. At all, in my opinion. Today is one of those days where the kids aren't at home. Most of the kids aren't at home. I got a kid home sick. Sleeping in the bedroom. Which is why I'm off work today. But that's life. That's life. You'll be amazed at how well this will turn out too with that uh, day oil. You think I need to stay really, have these really great lines with this black paint. No, you don't. 
No, you don't. That Danish oil is so dark as well. And that combined with the black acrylic paint is going to be a really nice effect. It's really nice looking. Beautiful. And it, they just blend together so well. And I don't mean that they, that you can't tell just between them. I mean that they, they go together so well that a, a misstep in detail doesn't matter. Look at that. That'll be just fantastic. Okay. So that's all we're painting on that guy. Okay. Now, I say that and then I think immediately maybe putting a little thin line of black through here. would be neat. I do think it will be. And again, you can see I'm messing up a little bit, right? I'm not getting it perfectly in there. In some spots, it's a little bit outside. You're gonna be surprised at how well that works. Yeah, you'll be surprised at how well that works with this guy. And if it doesn't work out well and I ruin him, well, we'll know. That's part of the, the neat thing about this, like having someone do these carvings for you in a video, is you can see what worked well for me and what didn't. something that I like, an effect that I enjoy, might not be an effect you enjoy. <laughs> so you can do what you want to. You don't have to do it the same way I did. Okay, so that guy's done for now. This guy, let's paint up his eyes as well. And <sighs> there's nothing difficult here. I usually dab a big blob of paint into the middle and then just kind of push it towards the outer edges. A lot of folks, some folks use boiled linseed oil on their carvings before painting. I do not. A lot of my carvings are wet when I paint, like this guy's wet. And uh, I think that does help because it pulls less paint into the wood. But is it a necessity? No, I don't think so. I've painted a lot of carvings with just I just finished carving and they're dry and paint them then so I don't necessarily think that you know what what am I doing I don't need to do it this way I'm gonna do the whole thing black we're gonna go for a different kind of thing we're gonna mop this guy let me get a black glove I got an idea for a different effect we're gonna do the whole thing a base coat of black and then all the coloring we're going to do is dry brushing. And then we'll go back in and paint the eyes black afterwards. So let's get a little messy in here, huh? All right, black paint, water. This is where you can say, oh my God, Johnny, what are you doing? Yep. I get it. I definitely get it. This is one of those times where I, even I right now, I'm thinking, what am I doing? Is this going to work out? It happens every time. Every time I paint, I think, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know about this. I found that with painting, it's better just to be bold. Just do it. And as you get to learn more about what does and doesn't work it is amazing what all you can make work yeah this is gonna be really neat <laughs> 
the more I do this, I think this is going to be really neat effect. He's going to look like a brown burlap sack, but he's going to look really good. Oh, this is going to be neat. This is going to be really neat. Just keep using that water to wet it down. Soak that water in there, which will dilute the paint a little bit to bring out the wood in certain areas. You can see how it's starting to come out in some spots, right? We want that wood green to come out a little bit. Not too much. We want it to look dark and black like he does, right? But we want that wood green to pop out a little bit. Just a bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to hair dry him, so give me a minute. Okay, all dry to the touch, and uh, yeah, doing good so far. Okay, now we're going to be dry brushing. So let's start with this portobello, and then we'll do this honeycomb on top of the portobello to give us that burlap right so this mop that we just used is soaked in black so I am cleaning it up real well and then we're gonna make sure we get all that black out of there and you can see it's pretty much out of there already okay turning the brush and just rubbing it into the paper towel to check and then I'm gonna dry the outside off this is dry as possible it feels pretty dry okay and now on a new towel, get that portobello on there nice and thick, push it in there, try to get it really deep into the paintbrush. We want a little bit of it to leak out as we do this. We don't leave a little paint. We don't want to leave a lot of paint. So I'm rotating the brush and just wiping most of the paint off the outside of it, right? Until I get to where it's, there's not much left. Like about there, see? Now, I'm going to dry brush this face, the head, and this is a heavy dry brushing. We're not going for light. If you've seen me do those mushrooms or the, uh, the ghosts, this is a heavy dry brushing. So I'm pushing it in there. I might need to get more paint. I didn't have to wipe off as much as I did. So let's see if I can just steal a little bit of paint from what we wiped off. It work that's gonna work just fine you yeah. you can start to see the effects too like maybe he didn't do terrible at painting that black maybe this is gonna work out don't worry this is the first step of lightening him and we'll lighten him again and he's gonna have a lot of texture I think that you'd be impressed I do I think you'd be like wow yep this is one to paint I agree The added benefit is that we already got that line nice and dark in there, and we want to fix that later. Okay, so we've got that heavy dry brushed, right? And it's got, you can see that there's texture to it already, already up in there, which is great. Now we're going to go ahead and spa day for him again, he's a hair dryer, and he's nice and dry to the touch. So that was Portobello. We're going to step it up now with the honeycomb. Just like a light tan. Fart jokes, anyone? Anyone? Just me? Okay. <laughs> it's not just me. Someone made a comment last time. I see you. you. You know the fart jokes like I do. I got kids. I can't help it, right? Fart humor is good humor. With When you get an 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, a 10-year-old, fart humor is top of the game. Okay? I've got to have my dad jokes on point. And fart jokes, those are the cream of my crop right now, all right? There we go. That's mostly cleaned out. I think that's going to be just fine. Dry that up. How is that? Still a little damp. Dry it up some more. You want to get as much water out of that when you dry brush, because just from the term, dry, right? Dry brush water seeking out seeping out is just going to ruin this effect and it's going to smear the paint rather than lightly brush it across surfaces so you can see those 
facets of the carving, so you don't want that. So, much drier, much better. Now, I'm gonna fold that so we can use the same towel. And we're gonna sink some paint into this thing. Nice and heavy. And then, yeah. Now we're not gonna press as hard for this dry brushing. We're gonna press lighter. We want to hit all of the, the facets on the surface to give this effect here. But we don't want it to be crazy heavy. Like the portobello we did, that was crazy heavy. This is not going to be crazy heavy. And you might be thinking, you know, oh, I didn't have that up in the camera. You might be thinking, Johnny, you know, that's not as uh, as dark as I thought it'd be. We're going to put him in the antiquing solution outside, you know. And when we do that, it's going to darken up a little bit. It's going to dull that brown just a bit. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I always say that, don't I? I say, you're going to be surprised by this. You're going to be surprised by that. You're going to stop being surprised by things. Because you'd be like, no, you know what he talk, you know what he's talking about, and uh, yeah, so I should stop saying you're gonna be surprised because you might not be. You might be like, no, Johnny, we're on board with you. We know we know what you got going on. And did I just talk about myself in the third person? Yes, I did, and there's nothing wrong with that. Calm down, don't judge me. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So we got three layers of paint on there, boogie boogie. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dry him up again. All right, so there we go. He is dry brushed and dried off again. And you can see that uh, effect there. So now we're gonna paint these eyes black and paint that mouth black, and then we'll take him outside and we'll uh, antique him. Now, when it comes to these painting videos, don't think that I don't know that you folks watching this, you're the real MVPs. Because while I may have in a 24, you know, to 48 hour period, 100 plus views on a carving video, 100 plus hours of watching, I should say, on a carving video, a painting video might have five or 10. So there's very few folks watching this video right now. Those of you that do, the interactivity just from a few comments that you give is so much higher than the carving video. I just want you to know I really appreciate it. So if there's anything that you want to see me talk about in one of these painting videos, let me know. I like painting my carvings. This is enjoyable to me. I don't mind sharing it, but uh, I want some feedback. I want, I, want, I, want to, I want to talk to you, right? So comment down below. Like the video, which will help me push it to more people. Subscribe to the channel, of course, as always. But uh, comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what you want to see. Ask questions. If there's something that you want to know, if there's something you want to see me try, ask questions. Let's see what we can do. You know? Yeah, he's going to look so good. I don't know if I'll take... i got to... Fall festival happening here in my town this Saturday. And I don't know if I'm going to take him or just give him to the wife. You know, if I've made another one, just like I tell people all the time, if you make a second or a third something, they get better. If you make another one, he'd just be better than this. I might just make her another one. I think that she would love to have this. Look at that. She would love that. And then he's definitely going to be painted the one I make for the wife. Because... That'll be fantastic. All right, let's head outside real quick and I'll show you. We'll drop him into the tank. Oh no, Oogie Boogie! Oh no! 
Are you okay? Let me save you! <laughs> How awesome is that, huh? How awesome is that? Yeah. Okay, so we got him all done. Painted, and he's been antiqued, so we're going to leave him in here, setting on a towel so that he can leak that boiled linseed oil right out his bottom, right? And this guy, we're going to do him real quick as well. This is that black walnut Danish oil, Watco brand. You know what? There's an overlay that we know what brand it is and all that stuff. I've done this in other videos. You've probably seen it a bunch of times already if you've been around. But this may be your first video with me. And if it is, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm glad to have you. Hey, and this gives me an opportunity to say this, right? If you're having any kind of fun here, if you enjoy this, if it's helping you out at all, like the video, please. That really helps out. Subscribe to the channel as well while you're at it. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use just this little pipe cleaner. I smoke tobacco pipe, so I have no end to pipe cleaners around. This guy is dry. Oh, we need to correct that eye real fast. When I told you I'd show you how to fix that with that little bit of paint. <laughs> We're just going to carve that off. There we go. Fixed. That's why I don't put my carving tools away until I'm finished. <laughs> Alrighty. And just nice and heavy. Just dipping it in there. Rubbing it around the surface. The more I told you, it wouldn't really matter too much if we did get the black a little bit wrong. See? It's not going to matter too much. As we wipe this off, it's going to get lighter. And you'll see better. But uh, that black will have a neat effect in there. It's going to look nice. But it's not going to be as dire if we uh, get a little bit where it shouldn't have been. I think that in his own right, with the Danish oil and wax, this guy is going to look pretty good too. It's like for burlap, right? He's a burlap sack full of bugs. That's actually not a bad look. Not a bad color at all. Normally I have a piece of paper towel ripped off and ready to go, but I don't have one ripped off and ready to go. Oh no. That's okay. Making sure I get every nook crook, every crevice, every nook, every cranny. And then paper towel. Wipe off as much of the excess as we can. And you're not, I try to hurry with this. I don't want it soaking in too much, but it's going to soak in, especially on a dry carving. It's going to soak into the wood, especially the end grain. Look how much darker it is along those end grains versus along the surface of the, the grain, right? It's significant. And now you can see that black. Look at that, isn't that a neat effect? And you can see, like, if you've got a little bit outside of the line there, hardly noticeable at all. Not a problem. So, he's going to look fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wax him up, I think, too. So, waxing. What's next? And where is my topper? You can heat this wax up a couple ways. You can use a uh, hair dryer. That's probably the easiest. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a hair dryer and heat it up. Okay, there's the wax. Now, some of you probably know that I'm lying to you. I tell you you can use a hair dryer and heat it up, but I'm not always using a hair dryer. Sometimes I just light it on fire, which is terrible. I do not suggest you do that. I am not suggesting anyone do that because I want you to burn your house down. But if you did, 
lighting that stuff on fire and then just putting the lid back on it after like five or six seconds melts the top layer of wax really well. Don't do that. You should not be doing that. It's terrible. And I'm just rubbing this wax in, right? I am soaking it up and getting it, like I'm just dropping it on that ingrain and then shoving it in as best I can. Pushing it in to every nook and crevice into the corners of the crooks of the elbow, behind the arm here. On the end grain, you really got pushed in, right? And if you want to really sink it in, get the hair dryer out, blow dry them, heat them up, and th this, this wax will melt even further into the carving. And we're going to be doing that, but uh, we'll be pushing as much of it in to every crevice as we can first, especially the end grain. It'll soak into the end grain a lot on its own, just uh, by rubbing it on there. Okay, now we're gonna wipe a lot of this excess off and in, so to speak. Just rubbing it in and on. And even this little bit of buffing can really set it off in a neat way. The carving is like the look of it. Okay, and this brush here is only used for this. I only use it with this wax and Danish oil. I don't use it with anything else. When I'm buffing with it, it's only this. If I buff anything else with it, wax and Danish oil come off on the carving, which is terrible. It looks terrible on a carving you don't want it on. So don't get your brushes confused. That yellow one over there, that's what I use for wiping carvings down most recently, but I got another one that's like this that has clean bristles. You can see these bristles are filthy dirty. And the money shot. Look at all of that. See the, the wood grain, the pattern. That is so pretty. I love the way that looks. I'm probably not going to need to heat them up because I'm getting pretty good at buffing them. We're getting all the wax out of the nooks and crannies here. I'm not seeing it left behind anywhere. And it's just looking good. So we're going to call him done. And there's the money shot all finished up. I honestly don't know which one I like better. The painted one I really like, but man, I love that dark walnut finish every time I do it on any kind of carving. And I think it worked well for him, so... I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below which one you like best. Do you like the dark walnut finish or do you like the acrylic paints finish? It's a hard choice. Man, it's a hard choice. I hope you guys have enjoyed making Oogie Boogie with me. He was a lot of fun to make, a lot of fun to carve, a lot of fun to paint. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me how I did. If you want to, come follow me on Instagram, connect with the wood carving community, and head over to Etsy and buy a sticker if you'd like to. Other than that, Thanks for sticking around to the end. Don't forget to be awesome, and I'll see you next time. Have fun. And this is the spot where you can watch another video. Stick around, folks. I got more for you. Check out that video. Yeah, that's the one.